Hey all, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for popping in. I wanted to spend some time today as kind of like one of my first few videos here about talking about plant-based, plant-based wellness, plant-based personal care, plant-based this, that, and the next thing. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of buzzwords going around there that everybody's familiar with, you know, holistic health and um, all natural, organic, you know, those kind of things. And, you know, for some people, they get really, really scared, you know, and I can understand that because what they see first is a increase in price. They don't always understand what value is brought to them. And they really don't, most people don't have the time to actually research and look into, unless there's a major reason why, what the main difference is and why that would be important to them. So for me, the reason I started to get into really being more mindful of what I was using, eating, um, applying to myself, those kind of things, like using in my home, all that sort of stuff. Like I said in my intro video, video if you hadn't seen it, um, it was when my little boy was born. I struggled with postpartum issues of all sorts. <laughs> you know, I'm sure many moms do. Do some get through very quickly? Absolutely. Do some experience it at all? Probably not. Uh, that's all right. This is what I journeyed with. And I'm going to tell you that my choice, and I had a lots of medical professionals saying, hey, these are some options. Here's some tools that you can use to help you. And they did the best they could for me. And I appreciate that. And I could tell that they were genuinely wanting to help me. I myself wanted to find holistic means of getting through my um, darker days and do it naturally. And I knew that was going to take some work and I knew it was going to take some time, but I wanted to find out. Um, I had a kit available to me and it was on my back counter for probably eight months prior, but I truly believe we end up making choices and changes. Usually if we're not forced to, we're doing it in the heat of a moment or because of that emotional influence. And for me, that's what it was, was an emotional influence, a massive emotional influence. So, um, this little bottle, uh, make sure I have the label right. And it's flipped around, but frankincense frankincense was what I used and this was my plant-based uh, support so when I say that um, plant-based was it was a natural means to use something that's been in existence forever you can google it check it out do your research because um, that's what I did I went and I researched what was going to support me with what tools I had in this little box. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm not a medical professional and that said, I'm not here to treat, prescribe, diagnose or, cure, diagnose or cure anybody, but I'm just sharing with you what I found out. And the thing of it is, is most of what we have today for over the counter support um, from more of a manufactured basis. Um, came from the actual scientific knowledge and background of, I mean, not all of them, but most of them. Check out wintergreen, for example. It's basically the similar molecular structure as other over-the-counter um, discomfort medications. So look into that. But we now have those, which is great because we can't always wait for trees to grow and that sort of thing. But if we have some time, and we are committed and we're willing to make a change because we've made that choice that it's going to be a commitment to do that on a natural level. Granted, I had time and I had the resources and I found the knowledge to do that. So I did that and this is where it led me. And I'm super excited about all the things I've learned along the way that's helped me transition my home the, my kid's life and my husband's life using natural means until he can get his hip replaced. Will that work for everybody? No. Does he have a high pain tolerance? Yes. But plant-based means it's a natural product. Organic is a buzzword. There's certain governing bodies. So when you're reading and you see an organic label, make sure it's got the proper identification. Some companies don't even want to use organic because it can be a little misleading for people. Um, this company that I'm involved with is, they have a seed to seal um, guarantee. 
and we have our own farms where we actually grow the plants to create the product, the natural product to help people. Granted, it takes commitment, guys. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to be willing to stay the course. So you have to use enough of the product, often enough, long enough to make that change in your biochemistry. So that's what it was for me. So when I say plant-based, I'm talking about products that are made from plants using plant-based ingredients, not filled with um, surfactants and other chemicals and things like that, to, and fillers and fragrance, the list goes on, um, to help our wellness. So for me, that's where it started. And then I really started to think, okay, well, if I'm using this, it's going to help me. What else is available to me through this company? But then also, what am I eating? And so now that I'm in my holistic nutritionist studies, my goodness, start to read your labels because what might be causing you some emotional discomfort might actually be because of what you're eating. I know that's a, that's a boatload. That's a lot of information, but when it comes to small changes and baby steps, you can make a huge difference by doing just that. Like eliminating sugar, for example, white sugar. I know, I know. Everybody's gonna be like, you must be really, have a really boring diet and boring household. No, actually we don't. It's a lot of fun and we can actually make a lot of cool treats with using natural sweeteners. So. That said, I think that for the most part, when it comes down to plant-based, you need to look at what you're using um, on your body, what kind of supplements you're taking, what kind of diet you have. And I know it can be overwhelming, but you have to pick one place and start there. And for me, that one place was my emotional health. And that was an emergency. And I say it very casually now, but in all fairness to anyone that has dealt with emotional instability, it wasn't a good time, guys. It was very, um, picture this, okay? I'm, I'm, at the time, I was living in a mobile home. We lived in a place, or we live in a place that is a desert, basically, and it gets hot. Prior child, we didn't have an air conditioner because it wasn't that big of a deal. We just slept with the windows open. Baby came along, oh my gosh, came in May. Here I am in July massively um, down and out after baby, and it's hot. It's 42 degrees Celsius and no air conditioner. My amazing sister came over. She hung blankets in the hallway of my mobile home, put a little portable air conditioner in my kitchen. It was dark. They put some foils on the window. I know you guys are probably thinking like, wow. But as you can see in the background, (laughs) we made some changes. I made some big changes made some big changes in my life. And at that time, I no longer want a place that's dark. That's why I come to you in a place of comfort, but in a place of a lot of light, a lot of windows. So that's kind of where it started. And I'm going to share more along the way. But when it comes to looking after yourself, I highly recommend that start taking inventory of what's in your cabinets, what's under your sink, what you use in your home to clean, if you've got candles, if you've got, you know, air fresheners and, and things like that, start there. Start looking at what you use in your home. Start to look at what you eat. Start to look at what you put on your body. And make that as kind of like a one, two, three, make a list. Don't overwhelm yourself. Because if you overwhelm yourself, you're going to give up. It's got to be baby steps. And again, you have to make a committed decision to make changes because you want to see a change in your, in your life of some sort. If you don't care and it's not that big a deal to you, then obviously it's not going to mean much to make, take those inventories. So anyways, that's a little bit of a um, kind of starting point. Um, like I said, this guy here, frankincense, I'll find a way to flip these videos around until I get a little bit more tech savvy. For now, I appreciate your patience with me as I learn and share with you from my heart and from my home. So I hope this is uh, useful for you. And if you want to know more, just shoot me a message or send me some comments that um, you have some questions. I am sharing with you from a very hard truth kind of place because that's where it's come from. Um, That's what's helped me. So, and I know sometimes that's not really great because 
Yeah, you're going to have to ditch the white sugar if you want to see a big shift in your health. Just start there. And yeah, so I hope to hear from you. Thanks for hanging out and uh, spending some time on my channel. And subscribe if you want to find out when the next one comes. Have a great one. See you.